Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to my YouTube channel and back to the another Physics with Singe episode. Today, in this episode, I want to talk to you about the cosmic microwave background, which is the cosmic footprints. When you browse through the internet with the keyword CMB, you will get these numerous pictures. Today, I want to tell you what this means through physics with Singe. So, watch out. The Big Bang Theory is one of the profound theories which explains the formation of the universe. According to it, the universe was denser and much hotter, filled with opaque hydrogen plasma before the formation of the stars and galaxies took place. The radiation given by the plasma was short waves like gamma and x-rays. As the universe cooled and expanded, the radiation given became cooler and the photons have been redshifted to a longer wavelength reaching now a centimeter wave in the microwave region which we called the cosmic microwave background or CMB one of the distinguished pieces of evidence of the Big Bang Theory when you point out on a radio antenna sensitive enough to pick a considerable long wavelength radio signal we will pick up a faint signal which is the remnant of big bang when we turn on the television on a foggy day or bad days like some of the noise can be from the beginning of our universe at the beginning of 1948, American cosmologists George Gamio and his co-workers Alpha and Robert Herman theorized that thermonuclear reactions taking place in the opaque fog of plasma should give rise to black body radiation, a thermal field. In 1934, it was already shown as the universe cooled and expanded the photons should have redshifted to a longer wavelength. Alpha and Herman also estimated at that present the temperature would have decreased to 2.7 Kelvin or negative 270.4 degrees centigrade. Two American radio astronomers, Arno Panzius and Robert Wilson, at Bell Telephone Laboratories. New Jersey accidentally discovered a radio signal that came uniformly from the directions that they can't get rid of. Maybe the CMB that was searched by Robert Dick and his group at Princeton. And that was it. The discovery earned them the 1978 Nobel Prize in Physics. Since then, the Cosmic Microwave Explorer Kobe satellite was launched by NASA in 1989 which discovered that CMB has characteristics exactly with the black body of temperature of 2.73 Kelvin. The satellite measured the tiny fluctuations in the intensity of the background radiation that would resemble the structure of early universe. It was discovered that the fluctuations are one part in 100,000. Then Wilkinson microwave an isotropy probe called WMAP was launched by NASA to study the data obtained by the COVID satellite in great detail. It showed that the universe is composed of 63% of dirt matter, 15% of photons and 12% atom and 10% of neutrinos. It also showed that the stars formed 500 million years after the Big Bang. The Planck satellite launched in 2009 and ended in 2013. This gave this picture of the early universe just 300,000 years old. 
it was also placed at second Lagrange point called L2 point. It is one of the most precise map of CMB obtained so far. As mentioned earlier, the CMB has been detected from all directions of the sky and appears uniform to the telescope's antenna except for a tiny fluctuations. The red ones are hotter and the blue ones are colder. But the variations are very small as I said in earlier that one part in 100,000. In other words, the red spots are the region which was denser than the blue ones. One can also measure the common wavelengths of the sound waves of the spots in the plasma fog as sound wave being the density variation of material of the medium. The CMB tells us the Big Bang happened and tiny non-uniformity also because of red-shifted Earth with respect to CMB and tells our Milky Way galaxy moving about 370 km per second in the direction of the constellation Leo concerning the average of rest of the universe. If the distance between two spots coming towards observer is said to be an equilateral triangle like this, measure the angular distance. If the space is flat, the angular distance should be exactly one degree. If the space is curved, which is positive curvature like a sphere, it should be more than one degree and if it is saddle shaped which means negative curvature it should be less than one degree and what is it observed exactly one degree which is evident that space is flat however it has an uncertainty of curvature of 0.2 percent accounting that uncertainties universe is at least 500 times larger than the current observable universe. It also gives the proportions of materials distribution of the universe and supports the dark matter hypothesis. Such discoveries and well-known facts are triggered by physics theories that proves that the power of mathematics and its ability to originate logics and predictions that change the way that we see the universe. That's why physics is always exciting and every time I think of that, it blows my mind. So do you?